Welcome back. Now you might have a beautiful table all set out, but nothing in the middle. So you're in luck because we have Amanda Gordon from Life at Clover Hill. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. Thanks for having and me. You're here to show us how to make that incredible centerpiece. Yes, a traditional Yule log centerpiece to have in the center of your table over the holidays. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and you know, you need a centerpiece. I mean, it's so true how your table can be all laid out, but there's that extra je ne sais quoi. Mm. What's nice about this one is with the candles, it adds such a nice glow over the holidays right. and it kind of makes things feel a little more special. I love right. how nature inspired it is. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff is things that you can um, find find in your yard or get from mm -hmm. around town. So we'll talk a bit more about where I found everything too. Great, okay. great. Because life at Clover Hill is big, right? Life is like, for me, it's big. Because <laughs> you have a blog, you can find stuff like this as well as other things too, right? Yeah, so, so I've, I've had a blog for uh, nine years and I share DIY projects, recipes. Over the holidays, there's lots of stuff there. Um, and I have a whole holiday section where you can find recipes, um, projects you can do with the family and decor ideas as well. That's lovely. Great. So, okay. so we'll sh I'll show you what we're doing. <laughs> so um, I picked a birch log, um, silver birch log. They are so beautiful. If you can find them, they're such a great piece because they're very unique. Um, this one came from Wright's Tree Removal <clears throat> in Pefala. They kindly provided it today. And so all I did to this before I came is um, I had my dad help me with his bandsaw and cut a sliver off the bottom mm -hmm. just to help keep it flat because you don't want to have candles in it and then it be rocking all over your mm -hmm. table. No. Um, and then drilled some holes in the top that would fit the candles in. Oh, so perfect. this is just a 7 8 drill bit and mm -hmm. just drilled down just far enough to um, stick the candles in. That's mm -hmm. So we can bring this over here. So when you're building it up, you want to start layering it first with the greens. So I picked okay. a variety of fresh greens and faux greens. If you did it with um, fresh ones, you might only really get it through just the season, but if you wanted to make it and be able to put it away and bring it out next year, you could use faux greens. Mm -hmm. Now, in this case, I did a mixture, and that'll be fine through the holiday season. And then if you want to add live elements in it, like the flowers that I brought, the little sweetheart roses, and these are from Room to Bloom here in Keswick, great florist shop. Mm -hmm. You could put those on maybe on Christmas Eve when you're having your dinner, and it would last you know through Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Right. But otherwise, if you did it like this, you could keep it right through probably through to New Year's because the, the live greens will just dry up but they'll hold their, their place. So would you add one of those little water pieces underneath each flower? No, for the flowers, it? if I was just doing it just for that day, I would use just florist glue, florist adhesive, okay. and it's just like a tacky glue that you can tack those on. So we can do those okay. at the end, add a couple on. If you want to okay. grab some of those cedar, we'll show how to cut those. So when you get cedar, if you get it from the grocery store or from a florist shop or even if you clip it at your from your property or something like that there's often lots of breaks yes. and so you can get quite a bit out of this i do centerpieces uh, with my mom debbie because we have clover hill flowers our business so we do our centerpieces throughout the summer with our own flowers but in the you know holiday season we don't have anything right now mm -hmm. um so we get all our greens and then we still do the same kind of idea with our centerpieces we try to get as many breaks out of it as possible so say i would cut that little piece and then you can actually just hot glue it right around there so i have some so you don't put the here. candles in first you can put them in first if you want um or you if you want to kind of build around it or if you right. it's oh, probably a good idea to build good. around it i'm thinking yeah we can try with one of the candles right, so right. the one thing i noticed the <laughs> is if you look try to put it in it sometimes it's not quite a good fit uh -huh. if you take oh, a knife that's okay i just <laughs> yeah you go for it you can get She's it making you it can good. whittle it down a little bit more <laughs> and then fit it in and if it's not if it's kind of wobbly uh-huh you can add a little glue there you go. Okay. Put it in. and if like see how this one's a little bit yes. taller because mm -hmm. the holes might not be yes. the same yes depth. you can just oh, I don't know if I can really jam that <laughs> really what's <laughs> that you can then use a knife and cut it a little bit oh more. wow and I know, break, break it, it. yeah and then just snip the wick okay. and then I'll, I'll let you Get that that in there. In <laughs> so then we can start building on some greens. So if you want to start Linda, clipping some sure. pieces there. of cedar, sure. And then these faux <laughs> ones too. Now, same thing with with faux ones. These were on like a big pick, uh -huh. but you could actually take little pieces of it off, uh -huh. or you can keep it as a full piece if if you want to um, keep keep the whole thing on. Yeah, and you can use hot glue then to just put that on. 
Wow. Now, other elements you can add are pine cones. So you can get pine cones you can find yes. just drive from your own property. I have a toddler. It's a great activity <laughs> to keep them busy in the fall is here, collect some pine cones. Um, you can also buy them at the store where sometimes they have like a little bit of glitter or sparkle on them. Um, this one is on a little piece of wire because it's meant for if you're putting in an arrangement. Right. I would just take it off the wire right. so that it's a little bit easier to glue it on. And then just look for kind of a flat spot to glue it. It smells amazing. And as it dries out, it's still going to smell. Yeah, it's going to smell <laughs> great still. And then you can add some other little things like glittery picks. You could go for like a more glitzy, glittery look. Right. Um, and same thing, if you get a pick like this and it has lots of breaks, you can often break it apart more and get, you know, more to also spread up. out around. Um, then you can also find things like this. This is just a garland that was from the dollar store that That's has all pretty. kinds of berries on it. And again, you can snip it and have lots of little berries that you can add in. Um, other things you can add are bows. Mm. So this is just a bow that's been wrapped with wire. Um, I have tutorials in the blog on how to do this for yourself, even if you want to put it in an arrangement and right. put it on a piece of wire so you can stick it in something. So you could do like a bow in the front, um, or you could take two bows if you wanted and put one on each side so that if, you know, if people are looking on nice. either side of your table, right. you can have a bit of balance to it. So you can really pick whatever you like. Um, and like I was saying, you can add in the flowers the as well. Flowers. Let's try and add those in. I think I'm out of glue. Oh, oh I, got, no. I got another stick. There you go. Okay. So okay. you want to add a couple of flowers yeah, in? Yeah, so if you're adding flowers, the trick with them is getting actually quite close to the base mm -hmm. because you kind of want to have a flat <clears throat> surface that you can glue on. And then this is just floral adhesive. Oh, I love that. And I guess you would have to use a floral adhesive. Well, it just helps kind of preserve it a bit. Yeah. And then you just kind of put it on and blow and wait till it gets a little <laughs> tacky. <laughs> and then you could glue it on however you so want. So let's get the bow on because I think we're running out of time. And uh, maybe we can kind of finish this in between or something so we can show everybody because it's beautiful. Where can we find out about you? So uh, lifeatcloverhill.com. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. This tutorial will be up this week if you Perfect. want to take a look at it. And there's Excellent. lots of other things for the holidays on there as well. Can we see this? That's beautiful. Lovely. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for care. being here. We're going to try and finish this up. And next, stay tuned for the Garrett Scott Band.